everybody. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Andrew Woods and I'm a third year veterinary student. And today I wanna to talk to you about the main differences between veterinary school and medical school. But Andrew, you're in veterinary school. You're gonna be biased towards veterinary school. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Well, yeah, probably, but despite my affinity towards veterinary school, I still believe I can give you guys some insight into the main differences between the two of them. So with that said... Yep, that's right. Most medical schools do not, in fact, require mandatory attendance. And you might be thinking, well, why is that? How are they going to learn if they don't show up to class? Well, as it turns out, most, if not all classes, are actually recorded in medical school. So students can actually listen in on the exams they miss. And they also still have to pass their exams, so they gotta learn the info one way or the other, you know? But this is different than veterinary school. At veterinary school, our classes are recorded as well, but every class is mandatory. So it can sometimes get grueling when you have periods of like six to eight weeks where you have to go to class from like eight to five. It can be a lot when all classes are mandatory. And while some Vet schools are more lenient than others, it's still a big deal and a big consideration you have to make when deciding between the two. Because you have to think about if you can make that time commitment. While on one hand in medical school, you don't have to attend every class, so maybe you like sleeping in in the mornings, maybe you're more, maybe you're not a morning person, medical school would be more suited to you because you wouldn't have to show up for the morning classes, but in veterinary school, you sometimes you have to be there at 8 a.m. every day. So that's one the key thing to consider. Yeah, real shocker here, but <laughs> when you become a licensed medical doctor, you're legally a only able to treat humans. But when you become a licensed veterinary, veterinarian, you're legally able to practice on any animal species but humans. Um, it's a real interesting catch, but it does have some truths and implications to it. I think there could be a stigma around people who don't believe veterinarians are actual doctors when, when in reality, we actually end up learning the same amount of medical knowledge and physiology as regular medical doctors, but we also have to apply all of that to many different species. And that can be a lot to handle sometimes when you have to when you have to memorize all these things about species differences. Like like for instance, what, what drugs are toxic to some species but not others, and all the differences that come with these with these different species, like horses. Horses got a lot of things that are different than other animals. I'm just gonna let y'all know. But uh So this is a huge point. If you just want a larger salary, go to med school. <laughs> There's no secret here that veterinarians make less than physicians. In fact, the mean salary of most physicians is almost double that of veterinarians. So for everyone that says veterinarians are just in it for the money, you're wrong. <laughs> People get into vet med, and if you're looking to get into vet med, you should do it because you generally have an interest and love of veterinary medicine and helping animals. And that's not to say veterinarians can't make a lot of money. Like physicians, there are many different types of veterinarians you can be, and generally speaking, if you specialize in something that can lead you to an, a larger wage gap. Which actually brings me to my next point. That's right, once you graduate vet school, you can go straight into private practice. We do still have the option, like medical school, to do internships and residencies, and we actually have a similar match type program for getting into those things, but it's not required like most medical schools where you have to do an internship afterwards and you have to do a residency. And another key point is while most medical schools don't require you to do a residency, you still kind of need to do one because if you don't, it's harder to actually get a job straight out of school because most hospitals hire you straight out of residency. So like a medical school, you're pretty much locked into four, five, six plus years of schooling besides the initial four years, unlike veterinary school, where if you just want to do your four-year degree and then go work at a practice, you can do that. Uh, you can actually you can actually go in and own your, and buy a practice, you can actually go in and buy a practice straight out of vet school and open that practice for yourself and run it yourself. That's an option we have, there's, there's a lot of options. Which now brings us to our final point. So in general, once you graduate from medical school and do your internship and residency, you're a lot of times stuck in corporate operations and corporate practices, and there's a lot of red tape when you're actually dealing with patients. And what I mean by red tape is that there's just a lot less paperwork and people to get through to actually see your patient in the medical profession. In veterinary school, you can you can pretty much just have access right to your patient right away when he's in your hospital. While medical hospital, sometimes you have to get through nurses and consent forms and all these other things just to see your patient. So I feel like in general, the veterinary profession is a lot less complicated by all these things. 
if that makes sense to you guys. So yeah, I feel like vet school overall is more flexible in the amount of things you can do and the amount of different careers you can have. So yeah, that's that's my final point. Uh, whether you choose veterinary school or medical school, they're both great professions to be in. And whatever you do, I hope this gives you some key insight to some of the main differences between veterinary school and medical school. And maybe it helps you make a choice, maybe it doesn't. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you gained something from it and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, see ya. Let's just be real for one talking over there. I know. <laughs>